Hey there, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Up! tutorial. So I have a quick project to share with you today featuring the Daisy Delight stamp set as well as the Coordinating Daisy Punch. And the card that I'm going to share with you today was actually my June team make and take. So every month um, I hold a live team meeting with my team of Bug Stampers. We have a, a Facebook group for our team. So we have our monthly team meeting over there and at the end of the meeting I always do a uh, demonstration, a project demonstration where I stamp live with my team and then at the end of the demonstration I give away five um, kits, five little make and take kits for the project that we created during the live. So that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. All right, so I've got all of my pieces here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my stamping. I'm gonna bring in crushed curry. And I'll be stamping my thank you sentiment in crushed curry on this piece of Whisper White. And this Whisper White is cut about one inch um, wide by four inches in length. Okay, so now I wanna do some stamping on my envelope. So I've got that here. I'm gonna bring in blueberry bushel. I'm going to stamp the daisy image onto my envelope flap, or not the flap, onto the bottom left corner of my envelope. Then I've got this scrap piece of Whisper White, and I am going to stamp that daisy on here two times. Then I'll go back to my envelope and in crushed curry, I'm gonna stamp the little flower center, the little textured image right there on my envelope flap. I keep saying flap on the corner of my envelope. <laughs> then I'm gonna bring in Old Olive and stamp a few uh, leaf images. So this piece of Whisper White is cut three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. And I've just got a little scratch paper here to bring in the um, leaf outline image. I'm gonna stamp that off once and then I'm just gonna stamp it here on my piece of Whisper White. Stamp off, stamp it again, oh I guess right about here. And then one more time, ink it up, stamp off and then I'll put it down here. Just like that. So now we can start assembling this card. So let me move these pieces to the side. Okay, so I've got a piece of blueberry bushel cardstock. This is cut eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and I've scored it at four and a quarter inches. I'm so excited to be using blueberry bushel. I always want to use it, but I never can seem to find the right inspiration for this color. I don't know what it is. I love the color, but I always struggle to create with it, so I'm excited to have a project featuring it. Then I'm gonna take this piece where we stamped the leaves, and I'll just adhere this to the front of the card. We'll just center that up. Then I've got this piece of Perennial Essence Designer Paper. This is cut two inches by four and a quarter inches. I'm gonna add this on. And I have all the measurements and the supplies over on today's blog post. So I've linked to that down below. You can order any of what you see here in my online store. So I'm just gonna put that right here and you can see I have it just hanging over the edge of that Whisper White just a little bit. I'm gonna take my sentiment and add a few dimensionals onto the back of that. Okay, and we will just put this right about here and I want it to go all the way over to the edge of the blueberry bushel cardstock. So I think, yep, that's where I want it. Then I'm gonna take my daisy punch and punch out both of these daisies. And just a couple 
of glue dots onto the back of one of these and then I'm just gonna offset the two daisies just to fill in the little gaps between the petals there we go that looks good and then I'll put a dimensional on the back and I am going to put this right about right about there I think looks good so cute and you can kind of fluff up these petals if you want to and separate them a little bit then I'm gonna take one of these fuzzy little they're called let's see perennial essence floral centers let me see if you can see that they're really fuzzy I love these things so they have adhesive on them so I'm gonna take one of these and this is gonna be the center to my little stack of daisy petals here there we go all right and there you have it a super quick and easy card featuring the daisy delight uh, stamp set as well as the daisy punch I love this card so I hope that you have enjoyed this quick and easy tutorial and don't forget for the month of July when you spend uh, $50 in my online Stampin' Up! store for every $50 that you spend you'll receive a $5 coupon code emailed to you from Stampin' Up! that you can redeem when you shop in my online store during the month of August so don't forget about that also don't forget about the amazing joining uh, offer going on right now. I'll have all of those details um, with a clickable link over on this coordinating blog post if you want to click to read about that offer again. And we would love to have you join our team of Quita Bug Stampers this month. That would be so awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions about anything and I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Bye now.